How do I recite like a Qari? Most of us want to know, look, I can learn all the rules in the world. When will I be able to recite? When will I do what they do? The Qurra, the plural of Qari. And that is where in our live stream, in our event, we are going to be taking this head on. I A, and let's talk about it again in our threes. Number one, we aren't going to talk about confidence without A, talking about fear, anxiety, depression, the absolute failure and all of the visions of failure that we have and that we plaster in front of us. We're going to identify the three greatest pains and begin diffusing those that are wired with neuro processes, feelings that aren't rational, they're not fair. Well, I think Bilal doesn't like me because nobody liked my video. No, no, that's not fair. That doesn't connect. Uh, I, I can't recite Quran well because I have asthma or my mom never taught me or uh, my dad yelled at me. Again, you're connecting two things that are not connected. The confidence is going to be approached and broached once we can conquer the obstacles and the fears that we have. And number two, how are you going to find that confidence? You, it's easy. I'll tell you 10 obstacles with Sam. I'll tell you 10 things that stop me from reading Quran. But when, and that's where I believe the most power is in our live stream event, bringing our, your recitation to the next level is going to be about interventions. Not, do you understand? Yes, with Sam, I get what you're saying. No, 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 no. The intervention is no. I'm going to call you. I don't, th I'm going to call you out and I'm going to say, I don't think you do. If you understand, show me. And in a safe environment, you in front of your peers are going to take that obstacle of, I'm afraid to recite in front of other people. I feel like I'm going to uh, get in trouble or I'm, I'll get yelled at. And that's where the confidence comes in that it doesn't just turn on. You gain trust feel safe in an environment, and then are able to open up your voice. Second step, confidence through intervention. A, you watch someone else getting what you would consider filleted. Oh my God, he's correcting them. Oh my God, if that happened to me, I'd be so overwhelmed. And we allow you to witness what's about to happen to you. And the amazing part, whenever I do an intervention and I come up to someone and say, look, this is really what you need to work on. They always say, I'm so super nervous. I don't know if I'm going to mess this up. And then when we're done, same confident sentence. That definitely wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. And then I always ask them, did you sell yourself short? Did you lack the confidence but ended up having, having what it takes? Yes. And number three, the greatest place for you to have confidence is not only to break down those idols that are holding you back or to recite in front of others and to get the feedback and to have the intervention, but number three, in our smaller breakout rooms, you'll be paired with someone or a few folks that will be able to read to you and ask you, what's your opinion? What do you think of my recitation? And when you know how to identify the right sound and your opinion matters, there's no other way to feel greater and more satisfied than when your recitation has helped someone else. I know you already feel the confidence now. Let's do it together. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no God. Break all the obstacles. Accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and put in a brand new thought, illallah, illallah. And who is, that's my intervention. I need God's intervention. And what is my sharing of the greatest feeling? Muhammad Rasulullah. Wa ashadu anna Muhammad abdu rasuluh. That my Nabi is the place that I can rest my anxiety and fear and say, I'm going to succeed. Why? My Nabi is Muhammad Rasulullah and he said, اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق Confidence. You're going to need to press a button, install a software or activate something to feel it. What do you need in order to recite with confidence? Number one, to shift from speaking to reciting, to proclaiming, to affirming. The first thing you'll need as a Qari and as you can tell, اقرأ 
is loosely translated to read. But Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as he told the angel, was like, I can't read. اِقْرَأْ بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقُ is not a declaration of read Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is recite. And that's the first place to get the to make a mental shift between your speaking voice and your radio voice. Number two, once I've identified that I'm bringing the sound from what we know as the diaphragm, and in Arabic we can call the chest the jawf, where the air comes from. Taking the uh, practice of breath work and circling between our diaphragm and our chest cavity So as we begin practicing the breath, the second thing you're going to be doing is proclaiming five sounds confidently because you can't recite Quran without the fear of, am I saying it right? Did I get the word right? Is the letter coming from the right spot? These are the five miraculous sounds that will change your recitation and give you the confidence to recite, not to read. Ah. Uh, Apples, E, U, L, A. And the small phrase you could take home, this cat feels okay. Say it, this cat feels okay. This cat feels okay. Cat feels cool, okay. You sound excited, you sound dynamic. And those are two activities that you are going to be impl implementing. And your third and that moment of confidence is when the camera, your camera is on and I call out your name and I say, Fatima Ahmed, please recite. Bilal Khan, recite for us today. And you feel like, no, no, I can't recite. Then the angels is gonna, angel will squeeze you and you will press Play, you will open your camera and say, So confidence built is confidence executed by reciting aloud.